Welcome guys to another battle vid. Now this time it's going to be an interesting one because we're trying to find out the best true wireless buds to pick up. Now there are a bunch here but we definitely know that the AirPods Pro 2 are new to the market and they're here to compete. And of course in this case it will be competing against a bunch of true wireless buds that includes the Sony WF-1000 XM4s, the Galaxy Buds 2 Pro, the Sony Link Buds S, the Bear Dynamic Freebirds, as well as the Pixel Buds Pro. So let's start off with at least some of the commonalities with these devices. Now they all have some kind of rapid charging with of course a wired connector. Usually around five to 10 minutes of charge would give you an hour for all these devices. All of them except, except the AirPods 2 Pro use USB Type-C. Of course, Apple still is using Lightning for charging here. Now in terms of wireless charging, all except the Link Buds S have wireless charging. That's a bit of a bummer there, but also it's in slightly different price category. Now, in terms of cases and design, which is the smallest, most comfortable, I'll have to lean with both the AirPods Pro 2 and the Link Buds S in terms of the cases. They are smaller, more compact. The AirPods Pro 2 is a little bit slimmer, but those are the smaller cases. Now, when it comes to design of each of the buds themselves, of course, they all have different designs and which are the smallest and the most comfortable in terms of fit. That easily goes to the Link Buds S. It's got a very light fit, very comfortable uh, with them. And then going next to that actually are the Pixel Buds Pro, in my opinion. And then we have the AirPods Pro 2, which is very comfortable and light. Uh, then the Galaxy Buds uh, 2 Pro are coming a very close second. Then we have the two big boys here. It's either between, at the very bottom, it's either between the uh, Bear Dynamic Freebirds and the XM4. They're rather large, and also they do have pretty big drivers in there for these devices. So we see how the fit is for these earbuds. What about the main category? So let's start off, of course, with one that everybody cares about, active noise cancellation. So speaking of active noise cancellation, all these uh, wireless buds support active noise cancellation, but who has the best? Apple has come and said the AirPods Pro 2 have 2x the active noise cancellation from its previous model. But how does it stack here against all of them? Now, they all do have some really solid ANC, but from my, of course, uh, research and opinion, using it, in, you know, uh, in traffic, on the subway, on, on flights, all that jazz, I have to give the winner to the WF-1000 Mark IVs. They have some really excellent noise cancelling. Sony does a really good job there. And it almost blocks out completely everything. Now these are larger, so unless you get a good fit in your ear, that's where you might see some downsides. Followed by the Link Buds S. They're super light, they fit really well, have a tight fit, and excellent noise cancellation. Now you're thinking, where is Apple? Well, Apple comes in third with the AirPods Pro 2, really solid active noise cancellation, does a really good job to, to take the, the cake here. Number four is the Galaxy Buds 2 Pro, coming in really close, but you can hear the slight differences, especially between that and the AirPods uh, Pro 2. Then after that are the Pixel Buds uh, Pro, solid active noise cancellation, doesn't come up to the top tier, and finally the free uh, Bear Dynamic Freebirds, which have decent noise cancellation, but nothing spectacular. So we've seen that there and that's quite interesting. Now, what about transparency mode? Or of course, we like to call it transparency mode because I forgot what else somebody else calls it. Anyway, with transparency mode for all these true wireless uh, buds, there's only one king. There was one king in the past and that king still remains and that is the AirPods Pro 2. AirPods Pro 2's uh, transparency mode is absolutely fantastic. It is very crisp, very clear. It allows you to listen to conversations quite clearly. It doesn't feel robotic or fake. Coming in next after that are the Galaxy Buds 2 Pro. Huge improvement from Samsung here in this category. They've done a good job in making it more finite, not as robust as Apple's. Then we have, of course, the Pixel Buds uh, uh, Pro, which also do a really good job with transparency. Then we have the Link Buds S, and then we also have the Bear Dynamics Freebirds, and finally are uh, the WXM4, which are good, but they're 
pretty much last gen, very robotic in sound, but good enough for your conversations. Two of these True Wireless Buds do have some kind of uh, adaptive or dynamic transparency, and Apple has that as well as also Sony. Sony has it with the XM4s and the Link Buds S. Now, when it comes to the adaptability of it, I give that edge to Sony, just because Sony has a better functionality, in my opinion, from use case of using its AI functionality to track where you are, so that it changes the location if you're sitting or if you're on the subway, it knows it by geolocation, and it does a better job, as opposed to Apple's, which is trying to figure out just what sounds are available in the area, and it changes, the, it changes with that reflection. For me, the Sony version works well with the XM4 and the Link Buds S over, uh, of course, the AirPods Pro 2. Okay, down to the big brass tacks. What about sound? This is where, for me, it's the most important part. It might not be for everyone, but everybody needs to know. What about audio quality? Now, let's put it here first. Each and every one of these True Wireless Buds sound fantastic. They really do a good job in giving you one of the highest levels of audio quality you're looking for in True Wireless Buds. But I'm gonna start at the very bottom, and I think which will take last pace in this case, and that is the Pixel Buds Pro. I know you're thinking, whoa, Pix Pixel's done a really good job. Well, they have, but in this category here, they do a good job, especially with the, the lows that come out really well. So you've got some good bass, but the mids and the highs are really close together, not as robust as a lot like. And also the volume levels are not as balanced. So you do have to increase the volume more to get more of that sound, but still a good sounding uh, true wireless bud. So I'm gonna move that to the side. Now, next up here, this is gonna be an interesting one, are the Galaxy Buds 2 Pro. I put them a step above the Pixel Buds Pro. They sound really good, and you can mess around with the EQs that Samsung has within this application to find the right sound for you. Uh, they've done a good job, especially supporting high-end codecs with Samsung's a specific codec, so you can listen to basically high-res or 24-bit uh, audio, so you're getting better audio quality from it. Really robust, nice, but doesn't hit the full range, especially within the full separation between your high, mids, and your lows. So setting that aside. Next up are the AirPods Pro 2. Now the AirPods Pro 2 do a really good job in expanding from what's, what Apple has done from the original AirPods Pro, where there's much better bass, there's really good highs, but the mids are not as separate as I would like, but the overall combination works well. Dynamic EQ tries to balance a lot of that out there, so you're getting good sound from the AirPods Pro 2. Now, after that, I go to the Link Buds S. Link Buds S really sounds really good, especially at its price point and, and what you can pick it up for right now. You've got some really good audio, great separation. You also have some really solid EQs you can play around with in the app, but I do like the separation between the highs, mids, and the lows. Now, the lows or the bass is not as robust as some of the others, but it's good enough for me and there's some really good separation with tracks. And then second is the uh, Freebirds. The Freebirds do a really good job of giving you warm, rich sound. There's such great separation, the lows come in well. So people who like that, we're gonna get some really good audio it's because you've got some really nice solid drivers in here. And the number one spot to me still goes to the WF-1000 XM4s. Great separation all the way through. It's so warm, it's rich, it feels like someone is just singing a lullaby in your ear. Very warm sound, very rich, and great expanse. Now, when it comes to the microphones, which is another thing that's really important, but having phone calls, they all have really good microphones. Some are better than others. And just to quickly run through, at the bottom are the XM4s. Then you're gonna move up to the Freebirds, where the Freebirds have a good mic, but nothing too fantastic. And then it's actually kind of like a, a tie between the Pixel Buds then slightly above that are the Galaxy Buds 2 Pro. And then the best microphone is still from Apple with the AirPods Pro 2. Very solid, very clear. Again, the stuff they've done with the H2 chip really resonates here in terms of just voice quality and some of the noise cancellation they do for voice calls, which is actually fantastic. So now, what about battery life? When you look at all of them, Sony takes the bottom spot with battery life because the Link Buds S are around 20 hours of battery life with the case, while the XM4s are 24 hours. Even though the XM4 does have 12 hours of individual use, which is great, but it's just 24. 
then followed by the Freebirds, which come in with 30 hours of battery life, as well as also the Galaxy uh, Buds 2 Pro and the AirPods 2 Pro, while the Pixel Buds Pro come in at 31 hours of battery life. So in terms of ANC use altogether, the Pixel Buds Pro have the longest battery life, but the AirPods 2 Pro without ANC does 36 hours with the case. So take that as you will. I think in terms of battery life though, um, you've got a good selection that at least should get you up to about 24 hours or so. Now all these true wireless buds have extended functionality as well. Some are better than others. The Bed Dynamics Free Beds have a simple app that doesn't do, do too much other than toggling between your active noise cancellation. Pixel Buds do a little bit more. They have some custom EQs that you cannot use just yet. And then when you go to the Galaxy Buds 2 Pro, they do have a much better app allowing you to change things and also balance the EQs. The Apple AirPods Pro 2 have a better uh, built-in app within your iPhone settings that allows you to do more, like also personalized spatial audio, which only Sony matches with that personalized spatial audio with the XM4s and the Link Buds S. Now, Sony has the more robust app in terms of functionality and use case, while Apple has a simpler method of setting up um, uh, spatial audio compared to Sony's 360 audio, which feels a little bit just hard and dated to actually set up. Okay, this is a very difficult choice. Daniel's looking at me like, you wimp, pick a device. Yes, all of them sound great. All of them have one in different categories and they bring some really great features. But I'm gonna pick as an overall basis, including price as a factor as well. And for me, that will be the Link Buds S. I think when you look at its price point and what it brings together, it's probably one of the best cost-effective true wireless buds to use. Now, this is not saying that the AirPods Pro 2 are a slouch, they are really good and they stack up really well as you can see against the XM4s and also the Bear Dynamic Free Beds at its price point. So I'll say for me, definitely this. If you're in the Apple ecosystem, you definitely know that the AirPods Pro 2 are your choice and these are a solid pair to pick, but any one of them can be picked. So if you wanna do so, Use your links down below so you can select the ones you want and purchase. And if you're thinking of upgrading from the AirPods Pro, the original, and you're wondering, does this actually, is it actually worth it? Well, check out my next video on this comparing the AirPods Pro versus the AirPods Pro 2.